Hi gorgeous souls, it's Annika um, and I'm hopping on live, not with cards today, but with a really, really um, important conversation and kind of vulnerable conversation about perfection and why it doesn't lead you to where you want to go and need to go. Hi whoever is joining, I'm glad you're here. Um, Ah, on the weekend, <laughs> I fell. I fell during my yoga practice. Um, I'm working on my headstand at the moment and I was balancing and I wanted to rush it. I wanted to go straight into straight legs. I mean, I fell flat on my back and then rolled over onto my face. Um, and I'm not sharing this um, to make a joke about myself. Although it was really funny <laughs> in hindsight. <laughs> the thing is that while I was lying there on the floor after I crashed my face into my yoga mat, I started crying. And I remembered a couple of things that really didn't go so well in the last year. And yes, I share my accomplishments, I show you when things are going good, but I think the other side needs to be shared as well and it's, it's just as important. It's just as important. Um, and while I was lying there on my yoga mat, I just, hi Veronica, um, I just shared how on the weekend I fell, like I'm, I'm working on my head, headstands or my headstand in like without support of a wall or anything and I rushed it and I crashed and I fell on my back and then on my face and I just was lying there crying here's the thing why I was crying I remembered the things that didn't go so well the things that I almost screwed up through self-sabotage the beautiful Ireland retreat that where Veronica was um, was there. Veronica joined me. Veronica saved my arse, uh, to be honest, for that retreat. Um, and I screwed it up with one of my favorite sabotages, um, which is um, not handling my finances too well. I'm still learning in that department. Um, and of course, thinking about the island retreat and how I, um, I screwed that up, or I almost screwed that up. I didn't screw it up. It was beautiful and we had a lovely, lovely, beautiful time there. Um, and it wasn't perfect, by no means it was perfect, but we had a beautiful time there and it was better than I could have imagined it. But lying there on the floor, on my yoga mat, on the weekend, I was crying and I thought about the Bali retreat which I had already invested in for a good sum of money, like almost 3,000 euros. I put down to reserve the retreat center that I wanted to use in Bali um, in June. And I thought back while I was lying there crying and I thought, oh my God, I remember that, that week in June where I would have been in Bali. First of all, Agung was active, so the the volcano was active, but also I was very sick. I could barely move. Um, I had a couple of really, really rough days. Um, I had loads of pain traveling through my body, being in my body, and I would, wouldn't have physically been able to hold the space and be there and lead through that retreat. So that was what I remembered um, and it wasn't about, it's not about showing up perfectly and it's not about, it's not about always like not failing. It's not about not failing. I feel like I failed. I haven't had the retreat. I didn't do the Bali retreat. And I didn't even talk about this publicly up until now because I, I only share when something is um, at least of the end, at the end of healing. I normally don't share something when it's in the middle of it. And so I feel ready to share this now that the Bali retreat 
didn't happen because it wasn't meant to happen and um, and I did everything I could to make it happen and it still wasn't meant to happen and so I cancelled it, I stopped everything um, and then when the time arrived I was really really sad and uh, on the weekend I was able to release the, the rest of that pain, the rest of that grief um, and the rest of this like ooh that was an experience and the next one I don't want that experience again and that's the thing it's not about perfection it's about doing the things and learning from the mistakes while you're screwing up it's like there is a wonderful book from Kelsey saying I hope I screw this up yes because then you learn and then you can do it again and then you can you you learn from what you screwed up the last time you know you screwed up the last time and you can learn from this and then you can do it again and this time you will screw up again whatever you do you will screw up again and it's fine because you can learn from that the fear about screwing up shouldn't hold you back from anything doing anything it's it's not worth it oh, Veronica just said I remember our talk and I was so happy you were strong enough to cancel it when I read about Agung exactly I was so happy that I cancelled when I read about Agung too and that like all those cancelled flights and everything but I also was so happy for me to have cancelled because I was I was so sick in that week I was so so sick Veronica is writing, sometimes something that feels like failing is just readjusting, correcting the path. Exactly. Exactly. And when I said to Dennis, I said to him, like, this morning, this morning I fell on my face during yoga practice. <laughs> but you know what I did afterwards? I cried. I cried about the things I screwed up with with Ireland are almost screwed up because it happened and it was great <laughs> in its own way and I I cried that Bali didn't happen but then I got up and I could have just finished my practice without trying another headstand but I did it and this is how I choose to see myself even though when I fall on my face, I will get up, I will readjust, and that is what I have been doing over the last couple of months. I have readjusted, I have learned about myself, who I am to show up, and then I did it again. And I didn't rush it, and I didn't straighten the legs this time. I just pushed it a little bit further, a little bit further than the day before. And that's all you have to do. It's not about perfection. Screw perfection. Really screw it. Do more than you did yesterday. A tiny bit. A tiny bit is all that needs to be done. And then you're one step further. You're one step further into where you want to go. So I did... I did that, my my headstand, I finished my practice off with some um, beautiful shavasana just lying there and, and all this, like this whole thing came together and I thought like I want to share this on Monday in my solo conversation which is the first of hopefully many, um, no not hopefully many, I'm gonna show up here Monday to Friday every single day. I don't know how it will fit into my day. I will find every single day. I will find time and I will make time to have a soul led conversation with you because I think this is what we're craving. This is what we're needing. People to show up really just and and having a conversation based on something that my soul wants to um, communicate with your soul. And so I will show up Monday to Friday every single day for a soul led conversation. There will be many different topics to um, cover. There will be things coming out of my mouth that I have no clue about and that 
dumb things and not so dumb things and maybe things that will help you showing up more in your life and for today my message my message for you for today is screw perfection hi melanie um i'm wrapping up this life go back to the start it's a really really lovely message today i talk about me falling flat on my face on my yoga mat um, and then picking myself up again because that's that's life isn't it so i'm sending you love so much love and light and i'm gonna see you tomorrow take care Mwah.